Some of my favorite UNM memories are from my work-study job at Anderson. I saw the inner workings of running the school as I helped professors with tests, made copies, and coordinated activities. It was just a little peek behind the curtain of what it takes to run the management school. I also fondly remember my accounting class junior year when I was expecting my first child. The class had bets on my delivery date. And when I delivered over Thanksgiving break, my husband was inundated with phone calls just so my classmates could determine who won the pool. It was a nice example of the friendship and friendly competition that happens at UNM. I try to look at every day as a chance to learn. I try to surround myself with folks that challenge me, come up with innovative ideas, and ask why. Because when you ask why, it opens up options rather than shutting them down. I learned from a former boss to think carefully about when you're making big decisions. I learned how to get into decision-making mode, how to assess when decisions are needed, and how to study the data required to make a decision. Sometimes as managers, we feel pressured to decide immediately when presented with options. But being able to remain disciplined in the decision-making process is critical. Both the Columbia accident and SpaceX's Dragon static fire test failure were life-changing experiences for me. While at NASA and the ISS program, every day I worked around our crew members. And so when Columbia broke up during re-entry, we lost our workmates and friends. More recently at SpaceX, we had just successfully completed our SpaceX Demo-1, and we did a static fire test using the Demo-1 capsule. The vehicle blew up during the test. And thankfully it was unmanned, because if it had been crewed, it would have been catastrophic. That failure again hit home and reinforced that we can't ever be complacent in human spaceflight. Just like the shuttle program successfully returned to flight after Columbia, our SpaceX team successfully flew our Demo-2 mission less than a year later. And the lessons we took from Columbia and Demo-1 were clear contributors to the success and safety of the Dragon program. So my best advice is to view your educational and life experience as a toolbox. You're filling your toolbox every day with experiences that will help you in your future. Realize opportunities to gain new tools and recognize failures and recovery from failures as great tools. My Anderson experience was definitely an essential tool that helped my career. I want to thank Anderson for this recognition as a Hall of Fame member. And I really appreciate this recognition.